Howdy, partner. Cowboy Courtney here, ready to tell you if you should spend $40,000 or if you should just keep it in your pocket because you definitely have it on hand and you're not ready to apply for a loan. So, art school. Am I right? Should you go to it? Shouldn't you? I did. There's a car outside. Now, art school's weird because you see online for normal school, everybody tells you to go to college. That's how you get the job that pays the big bucks. But with art school, you either see people telling you, you need to go to art school, otherwise you're never going to work in the industry and you're going to be a starving artist who lives on the streets and you're going to die hungry. And the other half of the internet will tell you, if you waste all your money going to art school, you're never going to work in the industry and you're going to be poor and you're going to die on the street anyway. And it's like, okay, I'm sorry. So here I am. At my big age of 22, I now have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Illustration with honors. Oh. I know, ladies, form an orderly line. And with my knowledge, I've gone from drawing like this to drawing like this. I went from no commissions to getting paid to draw Germa 985. I know, again, ladies, one at a time, please. You might say that I've peaked, basically. And so now that I've been through four years of hell and I don't have to stuff the pockets of my college's president with more money, I can tell you objectively the answer to if you should go to art school. Are you ready? Listen up. It depends. I know, I know, you're getting ready to like throw your tomatoes at me and there's about to be a comical hook that's gonna drag me off stage for saying that, but that's just the truth. There is no definitive answer of if one specific person should go or not. And anybody who tries to give you an objective answer for everybody in the audience is wrong and a little silly and not in the court jester way, in the stop talking kind of way. Alas, I'm still gonna try to give you some helpful advice, maybe, hopefully. Uh, the most important thing to keep in mind is that my experience will not be your experience. Um, I'm just gonna tell you a bunch of like demographic information about my college experience. I went to Maine College of Art and Design from 2018 to 2022 almost graduated before they added the design part. Unfortunately, I graduated from Mecca Andy and not just Mecca. I am white. I am able-bodied. Um, I would say mentally ill, but not as mentally ill as some other people, so I don't want to speak to that. I'm queer. I started using they, them pronouns in junior year. I'm the first person in my immediate family to graduate from college. Yay me. Both my parents went, but they didn't finish, and my brother never wanted to go to college. Um, so all of the fun FAFSA stuff was my burden to bear. I've suffered more than Jesus on the cross every July, applying for loans. And so... <laughs> What I mean to say by this is my experience will not be yours. I went into illustration. That department is packed always at every school. If you're going into woodworking, you might be the only one there. Why is there a plane? It's Labor Day. Shouldn't the pilots get the day off too? So let me paint the picture as to why you might not want to go to art school. The obvious one is money. Art school is expensive. There's no, especially in the US, there's just like no getting around that. And to me, it's a red flag if someone is not financially concerned at all when they're going to college. We are diametrically opposed and we're on different life paths. Give me your money. Anyway, the money, yeah, it's a lot. My mom always says that I should be getting a Harvard quality education because I'm paying the same amount as Harvard. That's not true. I only went to school because Maine College of Art and Design gives out a scholarship that takes off half the tuition. I looked at the prices for like RISD and CalArts, that shit's expensive. It's like 80000 a year. I could not afford that. 
Like, we took out loans every year when it was much less than that. So the cost is certainly a factor. And a lot of these schools don't provide scholarships through the school. You have to do external scholarship hunting where you have to compete with everybody else for scholarships too. So I don't know, I guess if you're like a trust fund baby, ignore this con. But everybody else, yeah, it is expensive. Another downfall of art school is that they operate on a make, make work 24 7 make, make art, art first sleep, sleep and eat later, later sort of mentality which is not good and it's not healthy and it's especially not healthy to teach students to work like that that's not good my friend Farron said this thing that changed my life path and they said if it's not done by one, it's not getting done. And that's how you should view any sort of art making, in my opinion. And the school that I went to had 24-7 studio access, which initially I thought was a good thing. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, why do we need 24-7 access? No one should be making art that much when they have an 8.30 critique in the morning. And it's just a weird glamorization of unhealthy habits. Also, ergonomics and stretching, they don't teach you that. I learned that the hard way. I can show you all my physical therapy bills for my wrists and my elbows because I drew so much that it hurt. So that's really cool. And that's something that they don't teach you at school, at least not at mine. And now another one and again, this might not just be an art school issue, but if you are disabled or if you're a person of color, you might experience some bad things. It depends on where you're going, but I went to school in Maine. You want another percentage of white people in Maine? It's pretty high. Highest in the United States, I believe. So I witnessed a lot of my friends go through some shit, so that sucks. Also specifically with the disability thing, I think if you are trying to apply to schools, you should really talk to the person at that school who handles the disability claims and resources because I know a lot of people who got fucked over by the policies at my school and were not being given the resources that they need, which is not awesome, especially when you pay that much to be there. So let's say you don't want to go to art school. What other choice do you have? The most common choice that people tell you is, oh, easy, teach yourself, get a Skillshare membership, start grinding on social media. You don't need school. And I think that's partially true, but I think we all need to look within ourselves and think, like really dig deep and ask, can you actually teach yourself that? Do you have the discipline to do that? You might not, and that's okay, but you need to realize that before you also spend money on things that you're not getting anything out of. Like yes, that stuff is cheaper than art school, I will not lie. but. It is still money, and so if you're still trying to save money, I don't know if that's the ideal way. I feel like watching free YouTube videos versus getting a Skillshare membership, which can kind of be expensive, I don't know. Like, if you see me sponsored sponsor by them in the future, don't mind me, but like, it's expensive for someone who's like fresh out of high school. There's also going to a community college and then transferring later. I like this option a lot. I think what you need to do is you need to look at whatever prospective art school you'd want to go to and look at what credits they require for everybody to graduate and you want to look for like the academic ones. You're probably not going to be able to transfer studio credits that easily, but any sort of math or history or English, very much recommend taking them. if people at that school need that to graduate because then you can save a lot of money and then transfer later and still get the BFA degree without paying the BFA price. Now obviously, you know, quality of education depends on where you go to for community college as well, 
I didn't do that, so I can't speak to it a lot, but I would definitely recommend it. Or, you know, while you're in high school, take AP classes if you can afford it. I was very privileged in that my school paid for my AP exams, which I know is not the way that the world usually works. That's a whole other story though. I don't know why they did that. But I took four AP classes and that saved me a lot of both money and also time so that I could take other classes instead. You could do dual enrollment, any sort of ways that you can get those credits without having to pay the big institution for it, the better. You could also just go to a normal school for an art-related degree. Now this, from my understanding, is different because you'll be getting a Bachelor of Arts instead of a Bachelor in Fine Arts. Now this doesn't really mean a lot, but it more so means that you'll be taking more academic classes and studio classes versus a BFA. It's generally more studio classes than academic, but you still do have to take like half academic classes. I was told it was a 70-30 split. That's not true. Not in my experience. It's more like a 40-60 at least. And also, if you're interested in going into a field like museum work or, hell, a library, you should probably go for art history instead of going to an art school for art and just do art on the side. Not to say that you can't, like, improve your craft, but if you're specifically going to school to try to get a job in those fields, those are the degrees that they're looking for. So I would recommend that just generally. If you're going to school and you want to go into a specific field, look at what they're looking for. You could also not go to any sort of schooling and save up money by, you know, working part-time or full-time and then get a apprenticeship where you learn how to do your craft. I would definitely recommend this for tattoo artists specifically. I know so many people who went to school wanting to go into tattooing and a lot of tattoo apprenticeships don't pay people. And so they're inaccessible in that way. So if you're already spending a lot of money going to school, you really can't afford to take on those apprenticeships. So if that or any sort of other field where um, fellowships or apprenticeships are common, I'm guessing there's probably a lot for like metalsmithing and woodworking and like those sorts of things. If you can find something like that, then I might recommend not going to art school at all. But I, can, I can't really speak to that either because I didn't choose to do that. So why would anybody go to art school? Like right now, it seems like there's not really a benefit, but there is, in my opinion. The first is that you're surrounded by artists. <laughs> this is awesome. Like, I don't want to sugarcoat it. Like, yeah, there's annoying people, but there's annoying people everywhere. Being around artists all the time, both your peers and your professors, is amazing. And if you go to art school and you graduate, you're gonna miss that after you leave. Like, that is the part that I miss the most. I miss being in the studio with my friends just focused on art. Like, I wish, I wish life was like that all the time. And I found myself learning more from my peers than I did from my professors half the time. And so I think there's a weird sort of idea that art school is kind of just like you're paying to go network with people. And I would say that that is not the full truth. And the networking aspect is kind of more so with your peers than with like industry professionals. Like we didn't really do that at my school, at least. That might be a mecca problem and not an art school problem. You're also exposed to ideas that you probably wouldn't have encountered natively in the real world. And I think that's super important. I learned so much at my time at school, both about like critical theory, like political stuff, but then also like main maritime history and the physics of sound. Like there's a lot of stuff that you can learn at school. Shocking, I know. Schools for learning? Um, according to who? You also do get better at art. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I want to put an asterisk next to this one where you will get better at art if you choose to want to get better at art and you want to take your craft seriously. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen some people who bless their hearts, they're very nice people, but their skills 
aren't necessarily at the industry level yet, and that's okay. And there are some people who come into school like that who get a lot better because they want to get better, and then there are other people who kind of slack and just don't put themselves in it, and then they graduate with their art kind of looking the same as they came in, and that's not awesome. But I personally, my my art before I went to school looked so bad, and to a certain extent, would my art have gotten better if I had not gone to art school? Yeah, because that's just how doing something over and over again works. But I can say with certainty that my art would not look the way it does today if not for going to school and being forced to do different things and look at my art in a different way. like. I was, I was drawing, drawing 21, 21 Pilots, Pilots fan art in, in my bedroom, bedroom when I was 17, okay? okay? Like, the the level of art making just was not... I learned a lot. I, like, my art has completely changed from when I applied to schools. I don't even know where my portfolio is, like, the actual images that I sent into schools, but they were bad. And now my art is good. So checkmate, basically. I would say those are like the main aspects and benefits of school. Being around artists all the time, learning a lot like academically, and then learning a lot art-wise. I did learn some business stuff. I learned how to make an invoice. I learned how to write an artist bio. But a lot of that stuff I also had to kind of figure out on my own. Like the first time I did a commission that was worth over $600 and someone asked me to fill out a W-9, I was like, haha, yeah, I don't know what that is though. So I think a lot of the business related education comes like too late in art school. Like I had already had to figure that stuff out by the time that I was taught like how to advocate for your rates as a student. And so I feel like that is also not great. <laughs> so let's say you already chose that you're going to art school. What are some nuggets of wisdom that I can bestow upon you so that you can succeed? Don't get your supplies before your first day of classes. Just don't. I remember very distinctly freshman year, I showed up to intro to drawing and they sent out supply lists kind of outdated ones for, you know, oh, you need this type of pad and these sort of like charcoal sticks. And so we all showed up with all our supplies looking like a bunch of green, fresh freshmen. And my teacher walked in and she was like, why do you guys have your stuff? We're just going over the syllabus today. Like, how did you, who told you what stuff to get? And we told her that, oh, you know, the school told us what to get. She was like, oh, oh well, okay. okay. <laughs> if you're really feeling antsy and you want to get some stuff before you go, here are the only things I can guarantee that you will need at your school that isn't dependent on what classes you're taking. You're going to need a good ruler, preferably one that doesn't have a cork back that's just metal so that you can cut paper easily. You're also going to need an exacto knife and probably some blades. Maybe not like the 100 pack of blades unless like paper cutting becomes your thing, but like you want to keep that boy fresh. You're going to need a sharpie um, and you're going to need some clear tacks. Anything else, wait till your teacher tells you to get stuff. And ideally, don't go to the art supply store that's probably right next to your school because they're probably charging you too much. The friends that you make like your first week there may not be the ones that you end up graduating with. And that's okay. I want to emphasize that y'all are young. Y'all are probably not fully. Y'all are young. So shit happens. And like, you know, it's okay. It's okay for people to grow apart organically, I think. If you're gonna have a roommate and you've never had a roommate, talk to your parents maybe and just make sure that you know how to be an okay roommate. I think there's a lot of stories about, you can kind of tell when someone's never had to share a room with someone before. And I'll admit, I never had to share a room with somebody before. So I had to kind of prepare myself. 
and just be courteous of the person who's living with you. It's weird that I have to even say that, but you'd be surprised. Your freshman roommate probably won't be your closest friend, even after like a year. There are some exceptions to this. Um, my two roommates were roommates since freshman year. Like that was the only pairing that worked out. Everybody else fell apart and that's that's just natural because everybody's figuring themselves out and who they even are as a person. Try to go to class. I know it's hard. I know. And you can skip a class or two. I'm not trying to be like a military sergeant. Shit's hard. But show up when you can. Like really make an effort to because you will notice a difference in what you get out of a class if you're showing up and genuinely trying versus if you don't and if you don't care. You're spending too much money to not care about what you're doing. And if you are genuinely unhappy, try transferring or just drop out. I know that's kind of harsh, but some people I knew probably would have been a lot happier if they just stopped. And that's not a reflection of them. It's just a reflection of how that school fit them and their goals and what they wanted to do. If you're miserable every day, you're spending too much money to be miserable. Get out of there. Talk to your parents if they're the ones who are forcing you to go there. Like, find something else to do because you are young, you have so much life ahead of you, you can just do something else. <laughs> That's my advice. If you're happy, keep doing it, and if you're miserable, get out of there. So I hope that helped. <laughs> I tried scripting this and then I kind of stopped like halfway through. Could you tell? Also face reveal. I want to do more face stuff and also maybe less art related stuff. Just me talking. I hope you appreciate that. If you have any other burning questions, feel free to leave them below. I will try to answer them. Yeah gonna upload more on YouTube, and this time I mean it. It's serious. I bought a tripod. That's how you know I'm serious. Love and light. Peace on planet Earth. Bye!